Hey guys, uh, Matthew Rodella here. Just wanted to briefly talk about a change that we've made to the way email gets delivered from the forms on your website. So uh, we just implemented a change now. Uh, in the past, what, what would happen is if someone filled out your the form, the default contact form, and that's the one down here on your homepage and also on your contact page, if they were to fill that out, you would receive an email that says it's coming from the mail at techsitebuilder.com. Um, and we did that to improve deliverability because some people were having problem receiving emails from the contact form and that had to do with the from email address didn't match the server that it was coming from in which case it's it's your web server or it's our tech site builders web server so uh, we we tried to improve deliverability but that but now emails that get sent from the form that get received by you um, are say they're coming from mail at techsitebuilder.com and, and that that causes confusion. So now we've implemented a choice. So now you can choose whether or not you want emails to either come from the person who filled out the form or to come from a custom email address. And, and let me talk about both options. So by default, now when someone fills out your form, and this is a new change we just implemented, if I were to fill out your form and say my name is Bob and my email address is bob at bob.com and I'll fill out the rest of this information. I need help. So now by default, if someone fills out the form like this and clicks send, email was successfully sent and then you will get an email that looks like this that says it's from Bob and it's from Bob at Bob.com and then if I try to reply to it I'm replying to Bob at Bob.com so that's good right that's that's all well and good uh, the problem is some email hosts will flag this as spam because it says it's coming from Bob at Bob.com even though it's actually coming from our uh, servers on uh, WP Engine so um, so so certain people might not receive this email it either might get flagged as spam or it might get blocked entirely so if that happens to you then we give you the option to set up your own custom smtp server which is um, the the server that where mails get sent from so to to configure that you can go to your dashboard go to site settings Under, uh, there's a new option here that says use custom SMTP server. For that, we want to choose yes, then scroll down and click save. Once we do that, now there's a new uh, a link here that says configure custom SMTP settings. So you'll click on that. That will take you to this easy WP SMTP settings. And here uh, you'll want to fill out information for your own mail servers SMTP settings. So you would need, if you host your email on Google or Exchange or, you know, GoDaddy or, or some other um, email hosting platform, you'll want to go to that service and get your particular SMTP settings to fill in here. So the first thing you want to fill out is an email address that the, the emails from the form are going to be sent from and you want it to be uh, some kind of email address that exists on your on your email host. So for me, I'm using my uh, my other company's name, Alador.com, and I'm using an email address from that. Then for the from name, you want to fill out a name that uh, it's going to be saying it's sent from. Otherwise, it's going to say Tech Site Builder. So you might want to fill in something, you know, custom like your company name. Uh, for me, I'm doing my company name and then website form so I can distinguish um, this in my email inbox. And then check for uh, from name uh, replacement. And then that will replace the from name with this name. Now, you want to leave the reply to email address blank because this is going to allow you to then click reply on the email and then actually reply to the person who filled out the form. If you uh, if you fill in your own email address here, then when you reply to the email that you receive, uh, you're going to actually be replying to yourself. Uh, and that's not going to that's not <laughs> probably not what you want. So leave that blank. And then the rest of this information is from your email host. So for me, um, I'm using uh, Google, so 
I have the SMTP for Gmail. Um, I'm using SSL, putting in the SSL port number. Um, and then you want to uh, allow authentication. So say yes. And then you'll put in your, um, your username and password for your email hosting account. If you have any issues with this, you'll want to reach out to your email hosting provider and they will help you get the specific information you need for this. So what this is going to do is it's going to route, route all uh, outgoing mail from your website through your email hosting provider's SMTP server. And that's going to allow for better email deliverability. So now I'm going to click Save. And then what you can do is you can send a test email. So you can um, just make sure that the settings you set up were, were correct if you want to do that. Or you can just go straight back to your web, the front end of your website, and then just fill out your form and see, see what happens. So now I'm going to do the same email, basically, from bob at bob.com. And... place. I need help. All right. I'll send that. All right. Email was successfully sent. Now in my inbox, it looks a little bit different. Now the email says it's coming from the name that I specified, Alador website form. And the email address it's coming from is madar at alador.com. So that's ensuring that it's that it's going through my alador.com email servers and it's going to be delivered properly. But notice if I click reply, it still replies to bob at bob.com. And that's because the default email forms on TechSite Builder are set up to, um, and you'll see here in the in the header, the reply to is set up for bob at bob.com. So now we are able to reply to Bob just fine, and our emails will be delivered, um, should be delivered properly. All right, so um, that's it. Uh, hopefully this will allow you to have more control over the emails that get generated from the forms on your website. And if you're having deliverability issues, using that custom SMTP server will allow your emails to get delivered. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to us at support.techsitebuilder.com uh, support or support at techsitebuilder.com, the email address. Thanks, and here's to your success.